All right, so note to self. <laughs> Make plans before you leave your house when it comes to lodging or any plans for that matter on a holiday weekend. We just spent 12 hours in the Jeep. Four hours of it was actually fun, wheeling off-road and up in the Tahoe area. Then we had the little problem with not being able to find a campsite in Tahoe because Tahoe National Forest sucks. No, I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it there's a, it doesn't suck. I suck because I didn't plan accordingly. Um, so we are here at our ultimate destination. We just pushed right on through to uh, Shasta. Mount Shasta. And it's 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> and we're exhausted. We're tired. Glad to be here. But I'm going to make this short and sweet. We are going to shower up, uh, recoup, re recoup <laughs> regroup, and figure out what the plan is for the next couple of nights. Because we know we barely, how many hotels do you call, dear? Probably 25 to 30 hotels. 25 to 30 hotels. And we ended up getting this, uh, where are we at? Best, Best Western. Western. <laughs> and so they have this room here, which is the two. The last room. The last room, <laughs> two doubles. And we got this one. We got the honeymoon suite <laughs> for our 25th anniversary. But uh, they gave it to us for like a third of the price it normally goes for because they had it available and because they wanted it's it. their last room at 10 o'clock at yeah. night. That's yeah. why. So we got a deal. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to shower up. We will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Saturday morning and... I smell good. So we're all showered up. Had an amazing night's sleep uh, in Shasta, Mount Shasta. And now we're headed about 20 miles east towards the McLeod River area. No other plans other than uh, doing some hiking and really just some relaxing around camp. The weather's perfect. It's about 70 degrees outside. And uh, just get to hang out with Mama Goose and uh, maybe bring out the hammocks. What are you doing, Mama Goose? <laughs> All right, guys, so we made it to camp. Um, we're right along the, what are we on along, dear? McLeod River. McLeod River. <laughs> um, and uh, it's not much of a river, but I'll show you guys. It's at least a fresh water source to where I can fill up one of my roto packs here in a little bit. But it sure is pretty, I'll tell you that much. If it was a little deeper, you might it might be holding some fish, but right now, not so much. We just got camp all set up, and we are so happy we found this spot because it's at the end of a trail. It's the last spot available that's along this river. 
So it didn't take us long to convince ourselves that this is the spot. Got the hammock out. We're laying in it a little bit earlier. Mama Goose got the fire pit all set up. I cut up a little bit more wood because the wood we bought from the store was not very much. It wasn't going to go very far. And I went ahead and busted out the awning. Mama Goose wanted to use her little twinkle lights. All right, guys, so Mama Goose and I, we've been hiking for about, uh, I think like an hour, hour or so. We've gone about three and a half miles downstream. Uh, she was looking for the waterfalls. There's like two or three of them, but um, we figured we better turn around and don't want to leave Belle back there too long. Not that we saw a whole lot of people, but uh it was a nice little hike we're gonna head back right now but i just finished cooling off uh here at the river and now we're gonna make our way back so we will catch you guys at camp and we'll share a cold one guys we made it back to camp that was a good six and a half mile hike Daniel is chilling hard so it is my responsibility to let you guys know that we made it back to camp and we are safe Mama Goose <laughs> took me on uh, what did you say it was a 65 mile hike my feet no. are killing <laughs> oh six mile six and a half mile hike dear yeah, and yeah. it's hot and so we're going to chill Drink. here at camp we have a cold beverage or two it's sunsets in about four hours um it's about 4 30. we're not going to start cooking until that sun sets a little more because it's hot almost six o'clock and i figured i should get dinner going so tonight's going to be super easy bourbon steak stir fry and all you need is steak some frozen uh frozen veggies from the store and some uh uh bourbon glaze sauce and of course you got some white rice. All right, so let's get the steaks on. We are ready to go. Steak is cut up. And I'll tell you, not camping for as long as we have, one of the biggest things I missed is cooking on this Temple Tuscotl. Let's go ahead and add these in here. Garlic salt and some pepper. That's all it takes, folks. And for the rice, guys, I would I just get the minute rice, the microwavable stuff um, that uh, you'll find in the grocery store. It's a lot easier to cook. It, it's it's already basically cooked. All you have to do is warm it up. Um, so I just pull the, the top off, throw it in there, and warm it up, and it's good to go. All right, so the steaks are just about done. We are going to move those off to the side of the scottle. All right, so the veggies are all warmed up. I'm gonna mix it all together. So that's done. Let's go ahead and add the rice in the middle. All 
All right, so the rice is all warmed up. You don't want to add too much of it, otherwise it'll be uh, too overwhelming, but just enough to give everything a nice thin coat. That one. Tell me when, dear. Um, ooh, that's, that's good. All right, there you go. Let's see how it tastes. Hot. It's very hot. Oh, it's not very good. <laughs> Whoever says that, like, right? What am I going to say? Oh, this tastes terrible. <laughs> the reality is, this is really, really good. Right, Mama Goose? It is. Truthfully. Except for the green beans. I'll eat around the green beans we're just gonna sit here enjoy the rest of our dinner and hang out all night as a matter of fact you guys are cut off <laughs> that's it mama goose gets all my attention tonight it's our anniversary trip we will catch up with you guys first thing in the morning Good morning guys it is sunday morning now and mama goose and i are just uh getting everything wrapped up for uh leaving this campsite but boy was it gorgeous it was you know right along the river really quiet really peaceful really private and uh it's about 7 a.m right now um and we are headed off to our next destination just as soon as mama goose finishes getting ready it was really cool getting out of here because I had Mount Shasta in my uh, rear view mirror and I got some drone footage for you guys. Uh, but what else you got? <laughs> Is that it? Uh, <laughs> I got nothing. She's got nothing. How could I follow that? Exactly. <laughs> all right, guys, first stop. Mama Goose is all excited. <laughs> Subway Cave Lava Tube. So look. Go down some stairs underneath. This is the ground, so we're gonna be under. Alrighty. Let's Make go. sure the Jeep's locked. Let's go. Here we go. in here <laughs> all right guys so we're in the lava tube right now and it's like 25 degrees cooler than it was up there and the ground is super jaggedy and solid, and solid. Words. this is really cool you like this <laughs> our daughter's gonna be super jealous yes our little geologist. This is off the wind tunnel. It's right here. That's what is that? Lucifer's cul-de-sac. Nice. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Partial collapse. And oh, look at bubbles. Oh, oh, there's hot red magma coming up. Oh wait, no. All right, so that was the lava tubes. Now, uh, now can we go fishing, Mama Goose? <laughs> I guess. All right. That was my one thing I get. Yep. I get one. And I get to go fishing. That's my one thing. No, you've already been fishing. Oh, that was days ago. You get to go fishing again. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll catch you on the road. What are you doing over here, Mama Goose? Making you a sandwich to keep you happy. 395 Junkie's getting hangry. And we're not quite sure still what the heck we're doing. Um, we're probably about an hour north of Reno. You know, if we get camp around six or seven somewhere, which all kinds of options between here and Mammoth and even Bishop, you can get that far. right there all right guys so we made it to camp finally uh we drove quite a while checked out a bunch of different locations but none of them really seemed to fit the bill of what i was looking for so we are ending up exactly where we started uh, i mean what do you guys think did i screw up should we have tried somewhere new or should we take advantage of the fact that we're in this area and still even on a holiday weekend, the same campsite was available, which is absolutely amazing. But uh, dinner tonight, we're gonna do some more burgers on the Tempo Tusk. Our buddy left us some Kobe beef, ground beef, so we figure we'll make good use of that. What are you doing, little guy? It's not even a real fly. You're embarrassing me. All right, guys, so that was a much better showing fishing. I think I caught three or four. I mean, it wasn't great, and they weren't huge fish, but uh, the last time we were here, we were struggling uh, to get what we got. So pretty happy with the way the fishing went. And now it's time for dinner. I got back to camp. Mama Goose was just relaxing, and it's not a real fancy dinner, but hey it's uh it's what we got left over and thanks mama goose and it's going to taste amazing so uh let's get going and we don't have any hamburger buns dear so we'll just use some bread make do with what we got we're out here surviving <laughs> only thing is we're not naked and afraid oh my gosh that's a huge puppy that's what she said. I'll make mine a little thicker because I like mine medium rare. Mama Goose likes hers overcooked and dry. No, well done. It's in the name. Same, well same, done. Same thing, overcooked and dry. For seasoning, we're going to keep it simple. We're just going to do a little pepper, some garlic salt, Keep the vampires away tonight. Don't put salt, more salt on mine. And That's a little bit of salt on mine. Get the flavor out. Hey oh. Alright, uh, let's get these burgers going. Mama Goose, you want to cut the tomatoes mm -hmm. and get the bread ready? These are gonna cook up in no time.
All right, dinner is served. Dear, you want to get some paper towels and or plates or whatever it is that you're using tonight? I'm not doing dishes, so. That's a spicy meatball, so be careful. I'll give you the big pieces of toast because I love you so much. <laughs> All right, we are just going to put our fixing on it and we will meet you there by the campfire. Which isn't lit yet. All right. Ah, <laughs> my back hurts. All right, got a nice cold one. Use your cup holder. Cup holder. Don't set the beer on the table. Cup holder. Knowing you, you're going to spill it, so you're welcome. Thank you, dear. Last dinner of the trip, dear. Let me know what you think. That's a fat burger. That's what she said. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm supposed to bite into this on camera? <laughs> it's cooked perfectly, dear. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, dear. The world's waiting. <laughs> you didn't get any burger. You got all lettuce and bread. <laughs> Okay, second bite, I'll get some burger. Oh wow, that is juicy. Mm. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I'm going to do Mama Goose a favor and turn the camera off so she can... Wait till the camera's off. If you guys were here, you'd see her just pile into it. She'd be like, rawr! <laughs> <laughs> That's not true! <laughs> but, I'm not a pretty eater. I make a mess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we we will uh, finish dinner and we will catch up with you guys one more time before we go uh, to bed at night. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to. All right, guys, so it is 9, 9.30 and we went for a walk. I did a little more fishing. Now we are in the Ursa Minor finishing there will be blood <laughs> and it is a great movie it is pretty good um but we're just gonna sit here and finish watching it probably doze off here in a little bit but i can't help but take a minute and tell you guys what it's like to have this ursa minor um we've never camped so easily in our lives i mean this is the <laughs> fourth night of camping uh, we had the one hotel room halfway through because we needed a shower. Um, but this is the fourth night on the first trip, and we could keep going. I could keep going. This is just so comfortable, so easy. Pack it up and go. Set up. Pack it up and go. And right now, maybe it's the environment and the weather, but... Yeah. We haven't needed the Mr. Heater Buddy yeah, we... at all. Yeah, no Mr. Heater Buddy. It's probably 70 degrees outside, a light breeze. sleeping with the windows open, so the screen is just up. So the breeze is coming in. It feels really nice. Yeah, it feels great. But, <laughs> all right, well, I we actually started the movie, and I forgot that I was going to get back to you guys. So consider yourself gotten back to. We're going to get back to this movie now. <laughs> we will see you bright and early in the morning because Mama Goose wants to take a different way out of here. We need to find, we need to find other spots on this. No, we don't. This river. is a perfect spot right here. Well, yeah, but what if this spot is taken when we come back? We need to know where else to go. This spot is our spot. It will never be taken. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you in the morning, and we'll let you know what the plan is. Good night. Good night. All right. It is Monday morning. What time is it, dear? 6.30. 6.30. I told Mama Goose if we were out of here at 6.30, then we would take the other way out of here like she likes to do. But considering we have at least another 5 or 10 minutes left of stuff to pack, it looks like she didn't meet the goal of 6.30. So <laughs> We're going to go south on this trail, which should link up with uh, one of the... Uh, mountain passes that goes from the east to west 
So that could take anywhere from two hours to six hours. I just have no idea, but that's why we want to get an early start. I'm not sure what time we're going to be home, but it has been an amazing, amazing five days of adventure. I could already tell one thing I could be more pleased with is the uh, seal that Ursa Minor used for the rear window and the tailgate, how it latches everything. It does not keep the dust out. It's terrible, it's atrocious, and I'm not sure what I need to do to fix it, but uh, the problem is I got my utensil drawer, uh, you know, little bag in the back on the table, and everything just gets filthy dirty whenever we go uh, wheeling, so, and that's kind of disappointing for as much as you spend on this top. But I am going to pack up the last of the stuff and we will see you guys on the road. But uh, I mean, what can I say about this spot? It's terrible to rush out of here, but at least we got to come back around and circle through uh, one more time on this trip. So we'll see you guys on the trail. guys so we are on the trail uh it's about seven o'clock and this is a beautiful trail on the way out of here that we're on right now um again not sure how long it's going to take us but mama goose is real happy because she likes to go out a different way than we came in <laughs> plus we can mark some campsites that we see for a future trip because we will be coming back
we'll go. But it is absolutely gorgeous where we're at. Mama Goose kept, keeps going, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> uh, but we are deep. We are very, very, very deep in the And we're very Sierra. high. And yeah. <laughs> um, we're deep and high. <laughs> yes. So uh, I would not encourage you guys to be in the situation I put myself in right now. We are so far out in the middle of nowhere. I'm taking it real easy with Bell. It's a very aggressive trail. Again, pinstripes galore on the new Ursa Minor. But I would absolutely do this trail again with somebody else. Um, but we're just going to take it nice and slow. We'll be fine. Bell's doing amazing. Except for the pinstripes. She doesn't like that. How much further can I go oh, over? Not a lot. Just stay, driver, please. I'm gonna break some branches. <laughs> all right guys so we just got to the end of the trail and we're probably like three hours deep to get to the road here and i panicked <laughs> there's a gate at the bottom here that was closed and all of these thoughts went through my mind like we have to go back through all of this all over again luckily when i went down there it's not locked there's not a padlock there's no sign that says no vehicles so uh, we really feel like we caught a break here and was able to open this gate so we can get out. All right, guys, so Mama Goose and I, we just finished airing up all the tires and it is so good to see asphalt. That was, uh, that was pretty sketch, wouldn't do that again, would never advise to go. I mean, we go by ourselves a lot, but uh, we usually know what we're into, where we, you know, we go places that we know aren't gonna be too sketchy that we've done some research on. This back way out, we didn't do any research. Mama Goose saw it last night. And she's like, we should go out that way. And I was like, as long as we leave at 6.30 in the morning, then we'll go. That was the deal I made. Well, we didn't leave at 6.30, but I still went that way, so. And but it was fun. It was um, very stressful. Yeah. And we, we, I think we got up to like the highest was like 6,900. I think we started vehicle. like at 3,000 or something like that. And we were deep. We saw two bears. We saw two bears, three bears, with the one from the first three day. total, but two on the trail. Yeah, we day. saw a giant black bear. Well, uh, bigger than the other two. It wasn't giant, but. Yeah. Um, Bell is not looking like she enjoyed it as much as we did. <laughs> look at all them pinstripes. The good news is they always look worse than they are, so. Uh, They'll wax out. They'll wax out. And if They'll not, wax. we wouldn't have seen those views anyway. So, that's right. all right, I think that's going to do it, dear. We're going to cut it. We're going to call it. This is probably the second video of the trip because we've got so much content. But, um, and today was the most adventurous day of all yeah, the days. And it was where we're just going home. That trail, yeah. That, that shows you how lame we are. <laughs> <laughs> just going home. All right, well, I'm not sure when our next trip's going to be, um, but we've probably uh, earned our stripes, literally and figuratively, for at least a month or so. Uh, not a month. Maybe not a month, but... A couple of weeks. I'm starting to rant. Now you are. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Amazing footage. Hopefully... You guys will get out there and adventure yourselves. And until then, happy trails. Like a bird on a tree, 
I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. 